In 2011, a routine mammogram changed my life forever. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. This was something I never expected. A bolt from the blue that left me reeling. I remember staring blankly at the doctor as he delivered the news. The words, breast cancer, ringing in my ears. It was like I had been sucked into a vortex of disbelief and shock. Suddenly, life as I knew it had changed, and there was no turning back. As the days rolled on, the shock slowly gave way to a whirlwind of emotions. Fear, anger, confusion, it was like riding a roller coaster with no end in sight. There were days when I would wake up and for a fleeting moment forget about the diagnosis. But then reality would come crashing in, reminding me of the battle that lay ahead. And then, there were the endless doctor appointments. Each one felt like a test, a hurdle to cross, the sterile smell of the hospital, the cold touch of the stethoscope, the clinical words that were thrown around. It was overwhelming. But amidst all the chaos, there was a strange sense of clarity. I realized that I had a choice, a choice to fight, to survive. The decision to undergo a mastectomy was a tough one. It was not just about removing a part of my body, it was about letting go of a part of my identity. It was about facing the mirror and not recognizing the person staring back at me. But the desire to see more sunrises, to hear more laughter, to make more memories, that desire was stronger. Every step towards the operation room felt like a step towards an uncertain future, but it was also a step towards hope. The hope that I would walk out of that hospital not as a victim, but as a survivor. It was a difficult decision, one that was fueled by a desire to survive and see many more beautiful days. The day of the mastectomy arrived. It was a day filled with fear, anxiety, but also a strange sense of relief. It was a day filled with a whirlwind of emotions. The morning was cold and crisp as I found myself walking into the hospital, a place that was soon to become too familiar. The smell of antiseptic and the sound of hushed whispers filled the air as I was led to my room, a sterile environment that was a stark contrast to the warmth of my home. The surgery itself seemed to pass in a blur, a series of moments strung together in a disjointed memory. I remember the bright lights above me and the reassuring voice of the surgeon before everything faded into darkness. When I woke up, I was greeted by a wave of pain, both physical and emotional. My body felt foreign, as if I had been stripped of a part of my identity. The hospital stay was a test of resilience. Every day was a battle, a struggle to get up, to eat, to even breathe sometimes. There were moments of despair, moments when I questioned my strength, my courage, but I persevered, driven by the love and support of those around me. Returning home was a mixed blessing. The familiar surroundings provided comfort, but they were a stark reminder of the life I once had, the life that now seemed so distant. The initial recovery at home was challenging. Simple everyday tasks became Herculean feats, each movement a reminder of the surgery. The physical pain was tangible, but the emotional pain was harder to bear. The mirror became my worst enemy, a constant reminder of what I had lost. But amidst the pain and the struggle, there was hope. There was a sense of determination, a will to fight, to survive. I realized that this journey was more than just about the physical healing. It was about healing emotionally, about learning to accept and love myself again, about reclaiming my life. Those days were tough, but it was the beginning of a new chapter in my life. Healing is not just physical, it is emotional, mental, and spiritual. The journey of healing is a long, winding road that unfolds in small, often imperceptible increments. It's like watching a scar fade. You don't see it happening, but one day you look down and realize it's not as stark as it once was. The physical healing in many ways is the easiest part to quantify. You can see the scars beginning to fade, feel your strength returning day by day. But it's not just about the visible changes. It's about the resilience and determination it takes to get up every morning, to push through the discomfort and the fatigue, to persevere when every fiber of your being is crying out for rest. But healing isn't solely about the physical. There's an emotional journey that runs parallel to the physical one. It's about coming to terms with your new body, with the changes that have been forced upon you. It's about learning to navigate the world in a new way, to deal with the fear of recurrence that can sometimes feel like an ever-present shadow. It's about understanding that it's okay to mourn for what you've lost, to grieve for the person you once were. And then there's the mental and spiritual healing, the process of redefining your identity, of finding a new sense of purpose and meaning in your life. It's about learning to embrace the uncertainty, to find joy in the small victories, to celebrate the strength and courage you've discovered within yourself. 
But let's not forget that healing is also about acceptance, accepting that this is your journey, and it's okay to take it at your own pace. It's okay to have good days and bad days. It's okay to feel strong one moment and vulnerable the next. It's okay to ask for help when you need it, and it's okay to lean on the people who love and support you. Healing is a journey, not a destination, and every step forward was a victory. Remember that, each time you find yourself questioning your progress, you are healing every day, in every way, and that is something truly worth celebrating. Post-mastectomy, looking at myself in the mirror was a challenge, but I learned to love myself again. It was not an overnight process, it was a journey, a journey filled with a roller coaster of emotions, self-doubt, and yes, a lot of courage. You see, accepting my new body was just as much a part of my recovery as the surgeries and the treatments. The physical scars were evident, but the emotional scars, those were hidden deep within. The mirror reflected a stranger, a version of me that I had never known, never prepared for. At first I was angry, even resentful. Why me? Why did this happen to me? I felt cheated robbed of a part of me that contributed to my identity as a woman. It was a struggle, a struggle to recognize the woman staring back at me from the mirror, a struggle to accept her, to love her. Yet, I knew that this struggle was essential for my healing. So, I began the process of relearning self-love and self-acceptance. I realized that I was more than my physical appearance, more than the body that reflected in the mirror. I was strength, resilience, and courage. I was a survivor. I understood the importance of mental health in this journey. It was okay to grieve, to feel the loss. It was okay to seek help, to lean on others. And so I reached out, I sought therapy, joined support groups. I found solace in the shared experiences, in the understanding nods, in the warm, comforting words of encouragement. I was not alone in this journey, and that gave me strength. And slowly, I began to see a change. The woman in the mirror began to look familiar, not because her reflection changed, but because my perception did. I started to see beyond the scars, beyond the physical changes. I saw a woman of strength, a woman of courage, a woman who had braved the storm and emerged stronger. Self-love is a continuous journey, and every day I am learning to love myself a little more. Through every challenge, every setback, every victory, I am learning to embrace myself, scars and all. Because these scars, they are not a sign of what I've lost, but a testament to what I've overcome. Now, my mission is to spread awareness about breast cancer and the importance of early detection. The journey we've been discussing is not one I would wish upon anyone. It's a battle that no one should have to face, but the reality is, many do. And while it's a fight that can be incredibly hard, it's also one that can be won. Breast cancer is not a death sentence and I'm living proof of that. The key to winning this battle is early detection. Regular mammograms, self-examinations, understanding the signs, these are all crucial steps in catching breast cancer early. You see, when breast cancer is detected early in the localized stage, the five-year survival rate is 99%. That's an astonishing number. And it's why it's so crucial to get regular checks. It's not about being paranoid. It's about being proactive. It's about taking control of your health, about knowing your body and understanding the signs. But it's not just about your own health. It's about the health of all the women in your life your sisters, your mothers, your daughters, your friends. We need to empower each other to be proactive, to spread this awareness like wildfire. Because the more we know, the more lives we can save. And that's what this is really about. It's not just about surviving, it's about living. It's about ensuring that every woman has the chance to live a long and healthy life, to see their children grow, to grow old with their loved ones. So I implore you, spread the word, encourage the women in your life to get checked regularly, Share your knowledge, share your experiences, because when we stand together, when we fight together, we are stronger. And when we are stronger, we can overcome anything. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can save lives.